this is a small video about testicular microlithiasis laminated concretions form in the lumen of the seminiferous tubules on ultrasound they appear as tiny non-shadowing bright reflectors in the testicular parenchyma testicular microlithiasis are divided into two groups one is classic there are five or more microliths seen in one image. Limited testicular microlithiasis is the situation where less than five microliths are seen at one image. Microlithiasis are associated with testicular tumors. 10% of patients with microlithiasis will have testicular germ cell tumor. Patient who initially present with isolated testicular microlithiasis where there is no tumor may develop tumors in the future. In this image, we can see multiple microlithiasis which are more than five in one image. So this is labeled as classic microlithiasis. In this patient, it is a case of limited microlithiasis because in one image we cannot see more than three microlithiasis. This image shows a hypoechoic mass of the testicle which was revealed out to be germ cell tumor. This tumor is accompanied by classic microlithiasis. The contralateral testis with classic microlithiasis is also present. After archiductomy, the contralateral, this, this testicle biopsy showed intratubular germ cell tumor. If a patient is suffering from a microlithiasis, the following recommendations are to be performed. One, regular self-examination of the testicle. Second, undergo periodic physical examination by the health professionals and repeat ultrasound only if a palpable abnormality develops. Apart from testicular microlithiasis, the calcification can develop on tunica albuginea, tunica vaginalis and even can be present as palpable mass. It is referred as plaque of the tunica and may occur due to previous trauma or infection. The calcified plaques are easily identified on ultrasound, while non-calcified plaques appear as thickened tunica but are harder to visualize with ultrasound. This is the calcified plaque of the tunica albuginea, while this is the calcified plaque of the tunica vaginalis. This is a non-calcified plaque of the tunica albuginea. In previous video, there was a question, if a septate uterus is found in a patient, where else you look? The options were gallbladder, liver, rectum, and kidneys. The answer is D. If a congenital uterine anomaly is present, such as double uterus, be sure to check the kidneys because one may be absent or deformed. This is a new question which will be answered in next video. The question is, ectopic pregnancies may occur in all of the following locations except the interstitial portion of the fallopian tube, B, the ovary, C, the fundus of the uterus, and D, the cervix. The answer will be in next video. Thank you for watching and if you like please subscribe.